All right, now we all have heard about the brand new Bixby with perplexity integration coming up on the next gen Galaxy phones. That's on the Galaxy S26 series. And in my previous videos, I have discussed about how it's going to work. But that is not it guys. We have got something more exciting for you guys in today's video. Galaxy Techie on X has shared some brilliant screenshots of the all new Bixby, which might be replacing Gemini on your Galaxy phones. I was pretty sure that people may not replace Gemini with Bixby, but now with this information which Galaxy Techie has shared on X, things might just change. Let me tell you why. But before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. More than 70% of you guys who watch my contents regularly have not subscribed to my channel yet. Go Go ahead if you want to know your phone better if you want to stay updated with everything that's happening with your phone the tips and tricks the new features the new updates tech related news go ahead subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the like button now let's dive in check this out this is the all new bixby which looks more like gemini we can attach the documents here as you can see on the screenshots the documents are attached and you can ask about those documents just like how you do it on Gemini. And on this one here you can see image Q&A, you can attach an image and ask about that image on Bixby. And on this screenshot you can see when you have the results, you can export that result as PDF file, Microsoft Word, text file. And here you go, we have got Gemini live right here. Now this is what I'm talking about, it works similar to Gemini, it is going to be the Gemini live alternative on your Galaxy phones. As you can see we have got four buttons at the bottom, we have got the video button for live video, we can share the screen, we have got the voice button here and we have got close button right over here and on the top we have got the gallery and camera options. We can share the images from gallery or we can take an image from the camera and ask Bixby about it. That's pretty amazing isn't it? And you can see that cool animation at the center. We've got this bluish gradient circle over here. And at the bottom it says speak or click here to interrupt. So this confirms that it's going to be a live conversation. You can interrupt the conversation and you can continue talking. And you can see here Bixby Live is active. It is listening to the conversation and you can also pause it. This is the screen you're going to see taking a short pause it says conversation pause because of inactivity tap the call button below to continue you can tap on this call button below to continue the conversation and when the Bixby is on hold and when you go to the home screen it is going to get into this live notification bar here you can see it says on hold and you can see the Bixby symbol right there on top that's fantastic and you can also see here in your menu options we have got notices multi window view option library and conversations Yes, it does save the conversations that you had. The history will be available right here. You can continue the conversation by tapping on the history. Next, we have got something more interesting. We have got circle to search right here on Bixby. Now, this is another reason why you might be interested in replacing Gemini to Bixby. With this new feature, we'll be able to circle to search using Bixby and ask about it. And I think the results are going to show up from Google. Next, you can see we have got some modes here, general agent, tour guide, interview, positive support, storyteller, listening ear, English speaking. You can select any option that you want. Maybe let's say you want to generate an itinerary to a specific place, then you can select tour guide and ask questions about your itinerary on Bixby. And this is in the light mode. As you can see, it looks just beautiful. And here you can see some of the AI generated audio files here. And on this screenshot, you can see when you tap on the plus button, you can attach images from gallery, take an image on camera to attach it. You can attach document and circle to ask. So this is not circle to search, it is gonna be circle to ask. So that is how it's gonna be on Bixby. And this is a screenshot where you are gonna see the search results. Look something similar to Gemini. You can also see we have got the perplexity logo here. That is the source for this information. The information that you're gonna seek will be coming from perplexity on Bixby. Now these are pretty interesting. Thanks to Galaxy Techie for sharing these. Now let me tell you why you might be interested in switching from Gemini to Bixby. Now when it comes to system related tasks, we do have the integration of Samsung application inside Gemini. Let me just show you that. Let's go to Gemini here. And here when I go to the connected applications, you can see we have got Samsung Calendar connected, Samsung Notes connected, Samsung Reminder connected. These are the three applications which are connected plus the other third party applications as well. But the system applications, there are only three applications which are connected on Gemini. But when it comes to Bixby, more or less the whole system is connected to Bixby. And getting all those features from Bixby and having the system integration on Bixby is gonna be a big plus. So we will be able to control the device in a better way. At the same time, we will be able to do all the web-based tasks like how we do it on Gemini. We are gonna have Bixby to search. We 
are going to have Bixby live and we'll also have live video conversation on Bixby. That is what we have seen on the screenshot. So that is the reason I was telling you that you may be interested in replacing Gemini with Bixby. Let me know what are your thoughts. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Don't forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. We are adding the auto wallpaper changer feature very, very soon. In a couple of days, you should be able to see the update. So go ahead, download the application and I really request you to uh, give it a five star on Play Store. That motivates me to keep adding more and more contents for you guys on Volvo's application. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.